Okay, just going to do a quick video. I've got MacBook Pro there. Running through an Apple Cinema display with a wireless mouse keyboard. And over here, with Roland MT32. Going through an FW 1884 task game. And what I'll be showing you today, I'll just put it there for a second, is let's put up DOSBox, which is a PC emulator, an old PC emulator. Run it full screen. Now, I've got on here Logistic A3. Now, if you recall, for those who know the game, it's not here again, um, it supported Roland MT32 sound module. Now, I've always had one in the cupboard, bought it for $50. Um, I used to own one when they were on the market being a musician and uh, enjoyed all the old Sierra games with the fantastic music it provided. I never thought that I'd actually get it working with my Mac though. I was wrong. So here I'll show you a bit of a demo. Now I'll hit Sierra here, but I'll flick over to here first onto the MT32. You can see once I hit enter, it loading the system exclusive data in. So I'll press enter now. You can see Logistic Layer 3, that's loading the CSEC data for the extra sounds. And once it changes to that, it's the, uh... so I'll hit master so you can see okay. so back across and you can see this box doesn't quite fill the full screen but it allows you to play Basically all I had to do to get this up and running was to set up the MT32. Let's see, I can show you. Basically all I had to do was in my audio MIDI setup. Set up my Roland MT32. there to my MIDI interface which is a Tascam FW1884 
and from there it's where we got in uh, go back to library in your user folder and go into preferences you'll find DOSBox will have a preferences file and all I had to change in here was there is a section in the mixer as soon as I find it speaker that you had to change here we go so in the mixer section I changed MIDI device equals core MIDI and MIDI config equals zero so there's the two things I changed. MIDI device equals core MIDI. It'll probably be set to um, default, so I changed that to core MIDI. And MIDI config equals zero. It normally will just have MIDI config equals at that point. And once I did that, there's a simple case of go back into the box. And voila. And 232 sounds. Any questions? Leave a comment. Thanks.